Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your Twin Flame Soulmate reading for June. So we can already tap into the energies to see what is in store for our Twin Flames and our Soulmates. First and foremost, I want to thank you so much for supporting the channel. You guys, thank you for your beautiful, lovely comments. I read every last one of them and I'm telling you the support and love that you continue to give. It just really brightens my day and um, it, it really does allow me to continue to do what I'm doing. Um, uh, just a little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. Hello to our cross watchers out there. Keep in mind that there's no time limit to these readings. It could have happened three months ago, could happen today, could happen in the very near future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you guys. And if you think this reading um, benefits you or someone else, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if it doesn't resonate with you, make sure you watch your other moon and rising and Venus signs, okay? Don't forget to uh, like by giving us a thumbs up, okay? And hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button. Every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Keep in mind that we do have private readings available and we do have a Patreon where we have a lot of good things going on over there. Plus, you get the opportunity to see all extendants, okay? This will be an extended version to this reading today as well. All right, my loves, I think that's all the announcements now. On to your reading. Hello, my Capricorns. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. Once again, this reading is for the Twin Flame Soulmate messages that's coming forth for the month of June. The first message or message about will be for your partner. And we will put those right here, okay? And then the second message or messages out will be for your partner, and we'll put that right here. Now, keep in mind that these energies may flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could very well relate to your partner. And also keep in mind that you need to assign the messages how they resonate in your relationship. Okay, so if you hear something that may resonate with you, then apply it to what's happening with you right now, okay? All right, let's just get started. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to get started? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to the Twin Flame Soulmate Relationship for June 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? Okay. Okay, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? Oh, wow. All right, that was fast. All right, Capricorn, I miss you regardless of how things seem. We will be together again. Oh, okay. So somebody is missing you regardless of how things seem. So things may be in a not so pleasant state right now, but they're missing you regardless. And this person is saying we will be together again. Now, let me just say this. This, this does not necessarily mean that you are physically separated. You could be just not on the same page right now mentally, okay? And that could relate to this situation. Or you could be just physically apart, you know? Could be a breakup. Could even be a divorce here. But it can't get any worse. Wow, that Ten of Swords in reverse, that is really just the ultimate plant pain that you're going to receive. You can't get any worse. All right, let's, so let's just see where you are. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, what messages need to go for? For the sign of Capricorn. As it relates to the Twin Flame Soulmate Energy for June 2020. What messages need to go for? For the sign of I just saw the Three of Swords energy. So this definitely could be a heartbreak. Having to make a decision. Okay. Okay, my Capricorns, you have the Ace of Swords. 
the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Temperance. Nine of Cups in reverse. And your overarching energy is the Two of Wands. Okay, um, I don't see any angel numbers coming through for you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. I think all signs are here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So all signs are represented, but in the middle of your reading is the Temperance card, which is Sagittarius. So this could be an emphasis on Sagittarius. Just keep in mind that all energies are here. All right, so with the Ace of Swords, this is a breakthrough mentally, okay? This is really getting clarity in a situation. This could represent uh, truth that has come through. This is your mind being sharp on a uh, situation. Um, this is new ideas now, um, and also I you know, stated mental clarity, but this also could represent new con conflict as well, okay? It also could be a card of representing new conflict as well. Now, with the Ace of Swords being coupled with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, this means that you have put work into a situation and you're not really seeing um, any results from it, okay? Um, this is you could represent distractions. Um, this could represent power and dominion over somebody or something. Um, but I feel like you got clarity and understanding now uh, maybe what those distractions are that are keeping you, you know, from proceeding or, or being able to go forth. Again, this is, uh, you know, putting a lot of work into something, not seeing any benefits from it. But I think you're getting clarity and understanding now what is going on with the situation. Or you have clarity and understanding and this energy is kind of blocking you. Right? You're putting energy, you're putting work and you know what you need to do and you're putting energy, but you're not seeing any benefits coming from it. And so the seven of pentacles being coupled with the temperance, temperance represents harmony. It represents balance um, in your life. Um, temperance, uh, again, is that Sagittarian um, energy as well, but it represents patience. Um, it represents self-control. And so even though you've been working, putting in, in energy into something, not seeing the results from it, okay, spirit is telling you to have patience. Okay, maybe it's not the right time for everything to come for. If you've been distracted, spirit is telling you get balance, get, get harmony within yourself, you know, self control within yourself. So, whatever's going on here, whatever this energy is, it's time to get it in control. Okay, patience, self control, harmony. Okay, it's time to really get that in control. And then with the temperance being coupled with the nine of cups this is still feeling dissatisfied it's like you're you're fighting this energy here of calm peace patience you know with being dissatisfied it's like the output you you just don't want to rest you just don't want to wait okay and so this is being dissatisfied this is being smug um possibly you know just refusing to just be in that energy that you need to be in of calm and patience. Um, this is having a lack of inner joy, you know, just, just not really being fulfilled with yourself because again, you're fighting this energy. You're fighting it on both ends. You're fighting it from your past. You're fighting it in the future. So this, this energy is going to win because this is major arcana. So spirit's going to make sure you do what you need to do. So in your own spirit with the, which are these two cards, you need not fight it because it's going to happen. This is the kind of situation that brings forth a tower moment. Because when we continue to do what we're not supposed to do, we continue to fight what Spirit is telling us to do, sometimes it makes us have to, Spirit makes us have to be obedient, okay? So with this Two of Wands as your overarching energy, this is you waiting, once again, needing patience, okay? This is you waiting, waiting on results to come from. This is you needing to make a decision, but after making the decision, you're just needing to wait. So what I'm receiving right now, you're just going to have to be patient, Capricorns. Okay, you're going to have to be patient because this person says, I miss you regardless of how things seem. Okay, I miss you regardless of how things seem. And this person said, we will be together again, but you're needing really to exercise your patience. Okay, and let whatever needs to happen, let it happen. So we're definitely going to go to um, your extended now. 
to just to see what is going to be the outcome of this see there's a tower right there so that's a disaster that's been avoided so i told you it's, it the tower moment could definitely be there and there it was plain and simple um and your extended reading but it looks like that you got some changes together because it's a disaster avoided because it's in a reverse but we need to make sure we understand what's leading up to that all right, so let's just get your advice. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe. What advice needs to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for June 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? What does that Capricorn need to know as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship? Two pieces of advice here and we will share this in your extended reading so I'll just put those right here all right my loves meet me on the other side bye bye